In this video, I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra graphing calculator. GeoGebra is a platform for mathematics teaching and learning. You can create highly interactive and engaging lessons in GeoGebra for your students, which your students will love. And it's absolutely free and open source software. It is a community-based application and around the globe, millions of people are using GeoGebra. On my channel, I have made few videos about GeoGebra, but now recently I have started a series on GeoGebra and this is the second video of that series. I will put the link to first video in this video, which you can watch after watching this video. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. GeoGebra.org is their website and I would suggest that you open an account and when you log in, you will see some letter on the right hand side and then there are these nine dots. If you click on that, you will see all the GeoGebra applications. The most powerful and most popular is GeoGebra Classic and then we have Geometry. These are the two most powerful applications but also there is a GeoGebra Graphing Calculator and this is the focus of our video today. It has some of the fantastic features which we are going to explore and this is the application which is used for taking high stake examinations and we are going to discuss this in a minute. They also have a 3D calculator because this graphing calculator is for plotting 2D shapes and we can also plot 3D shapes using GeoGebra 3D calculator. So let's start this graphing calculator. I click on that and now I will see this user interface. On the left hand side you can see there are three main icons, Algebra, Tools and Tables. In Algebra, currently this Algebra is selected. You can see this violet color and if I click on that, it will be unselected. On the right hand side, we have this settings area where we can do some settings about this coordinate system. For example, I can remove my axis or I can show axis. Similarly, if I click on this show grid, I have few options. For example, no grid and it will be a plain paper. And this will be your favorite zoom to fit when you are plotting. Sometimes your plot goes out of range and you click on this to fit all of your objects inside this window. So let us select major and minor grid lines. Now before we start looking at some of the features of graphing calculator, recently GeoGebra has removed some of the tools from their graphing calculator. And the reason was that they want to make this examination compliant for high stake examinations. What are high stake examinations? These are those exams which if students pass, it will have some significant consequences. For example, they will get a diploma or they will get a certificate. So some of the geometric construction features they have removed from GeoGebra. But still this tool is very powerful. Let me show you some of the things you can do in this tool. Now these are just few of the things which you can do in graphing calculator because there is a very large list of GeoGebra commands which can still be performed in GeoGebra graphing calculator. But I have put few most commonly used things here. This list is very long. It can take hours to cover all the list, but I have put few things. You can plot geometric points. You can plot trigonometric functions, which I am going to show you in this video. We will also see how to plot a linear function. For example, equations of state lines and how to solve them in this video. Then we will also plot some quadratic and higher order polynomial functions in this video as well. And along the way, I will explain some of the features. I may not be able to cover all this because I don't want my videos to be more than 10 to 15 minutes. So if you need anything which I missed, please put in the comments and I might make a new video about graphing calculator. Otherwise, I am thinking that after watching this video, you will be able to get started with the GeoGebra graphing calculator and you will not need any further video. You can make lists of points, which is very important because you can then fit some polynomials to those lists. And you can also perform some statistical functions. And then the most important thing is that this GeoGebra graphing calculator can be used in exam mode. And what is exam mode? 
what happens is that students they have various kinds of devices tablets apple tablets android tablets no there are few applications which are called mobile device management applications or mdms and those applications have the ability to control mobile devices and what it means is that when a student brings his tablet to the examination hall and the teacher they connect that device to an mdm application then on that device only one application can be opened and that application would be geogebra graphing calculator student will not be able to open any other application to preserve the integrity of the examination therefore it is very important that you and your student know about graphing calculator now these are two major things which are missing which have been removed to make graphing calculator examination compliant the first thing is the ability to construct few geometric shapes for example circles tangents segments because students sometimes are asked to draw these shapes in their exam they might have to find the equation of a circle and draw the circle they might have to draw the tangent or they might have to draw a particular triangle consisting of three segments and then do various things with that triangle find the midpoints therefore midpoint command is also missing so some commands and some geometric construction features have been removed and now let's say how we can plot few things on a graphing calculator so i open this so let's say i type x square so x then shift 6 which is the tilde sign and my cursor is in the exponent position now i type 2 and then i press enter it will automatically equate this to fx function of x which we also say y and it will plot the graph of x square now this graph is not looking good so one way to adjust is just right click and zoom to fit so it will try to optimize the graph this is one way so the other way is that for example if your graph is not looking good what you can do is you hover your mouse arrow on the axis press shift and you will see this double sided arrow click and drag in which direction you want this to move for example if you want to make it slim or you want to make it wider you do it on one axis then you move to the second axis and the, do the same thing so this is another way to adjust the graph and you should practice this because this is better than zoom to fit now let us click on this tools and if i go down one important thing is extremum it means maximum and minimum value of a, if i click on that and now i select a function it will place the point at the minimum value of the function so let's go back and if i plot x cube this time it will select a new color and it will plot x cube now if i am in this tools area let's say i select any tool let's say i select this move tool and now i can move this graph to left and right and if i want to delete any of these function i click on these three dots and i delete this i click on these three dots and i delete this as well so let us plot a sign graph and then we will see how we can manipulate various parameters so if i type sin of x and i right click zoom to fit i can see that it has plotted sin of x but it doesn't look good this is not what we expect so again i can press the shift and i can move this outward just like that until this sine wave looks reasonable and now this sine waves look reasonable now as you can see that it has angles in pi values so how to change this for example if i want to change this to degrees so what i do is i click on settings and settings again then click on x axis and now in distance if i select this one now it will change to 1 to 3 and so on let's say i want to have degrees to do that i click on this units and i select degree from here and i close this still 
these are not the correct values because I have to put x degree in this function. Otherwise, these values and this graph is wrong. This is not the value of 3 degree. So what I have to do is I click here and at this x I have to put a degree. To do that, I click on this function area and there is degree available. I put degree here. I press enter and now again I have to move this graph in such a way so that I can see some values here. And this is the correct graph. But grid is very dense. So let us fix this. So we click on this settings. You have to play with these settings in order to get the best picture which you want. So what I can do is in this grid area, instead of one, I can put this grid at the interval of 30. Let's say in X axis area, I can change this distance to 30. And in the Y axis area, I can keep this point two as it is. And now our graph is much better. So in this way, you can play with these grid settings and X and Y axis settings and get the best suitable results. And now I have changed the settings again. So now let us see a few more features. We start from geometric point. To plot a point, I click on tools and then point and then I can click anywhere and it will plot a point. And if I click again, a new point will be plotted. And if I double click on that, I can redefine this point by changing these values. Or if I click on this A, I have these two things, show label, labels are this A and B, and show value is unchecked. So if I click on that, the value of the point will be shown. Similarly for this one, if I check this and I show value, its value will be shown. So let us draw a few more points, something like that. And now if I click on this list, now I can select the points. To do that, I want to make a window across these points. So I click somewhere here and I draw a window. And as soon as I release, a message will be shown on the screen that a list has been created. So I release here and it will show this message list one created if i click on this algebra i can see this list l1 which consists of a b c d e these five points this is also very useful now why lists are important because many commands use lists as their input so if you look at the list of the commands and let me show you where you can find the GeoGebra manual and commands. Now, this is the website where you have GeoGebra manual, wiki.geogebra.org slash en for English, because this is English manual and then slash manual. And instead of manual, if you type list commands, then you will reach this page which has all the GeoGebra commands. And you can have a look at these commands and you can see how to use those commands. For example, let us click on this point list command and you will see the syntax of this command, that this command takes points and it returns a list. So in this way, you can have a look at the structure of these commands and whatever command you need, or if you, for example, end up in a situation where you need some statistical function. You can search in this area whether the command is available and how to use that command. So let us delete this as well. I can also click on this tool. There is a select object tool and I can select all these objects and I can press delete on my keyboard. Let me show you how to draw straight lines. I go back to this algebra and I type the equation of the straight line. Let us type 5x plus 5 and I press enter and it will assign fx which is y function of x and it will draw this straight line just like that. And let us draw another straight line 7x minus 5 and another straight line is drawn. I can move this down and I can see that these both lines are intersecting at this point. And as you can see that it automatically assigns the next letter, the next function of x, after fx, it's gx, I can put more lines here. 
let's delete these two and now let us see how we can use slider slider is a very important tool for creating interactive lessons where you can give your students some exercise and provoke their self learning so let us assume that i want to make a linear equation with the help of a slider to do that i click on these tools and we have this slider i click here and i put it inside so this is a slider now and now it will show me this dialog box the name of the slider or the name of the constant which will be used is a it will start from 1 and what type it is currently it's number if i want this to be an angle or integer i can do that so let's click on integer and i want the maximum value 5 with the increment of 1 so i click okay now in this algebra area i have this slider and the same is inside my graphing area so now if i write an equation let's say 4x plus n it will take the value of n from this slider whatever is here if i change this to 3 this is the current value it will change the equation so let us change this to 4 5 just like that and the equation of the line is changing and therefore the position of the line is also changing on the graph if i click zoom to fit and i change this as you can see that the position of the line is changing so by using sliders you can create some interactive lessons for your students and now at the end let us see how you can draw a circle if you click on these tools there is no circle tool available here but if you know how to write the equation of a circle you can still draw a circle so to draw a circle i have to write an equation of the circle so for example if the center of the circle is at coordinates 3 and 4 and the radius is 1 the equation would be x minus 3 is square plus y minus 4 is square equals 1 if i enter this i will have a circle this circle has a center at 1 2 3 in x and 1 2 3 4 in y so this is the position of the center and it has a radius 1 if i edit this to let's say 9 and enter now the radius of the circle will be 3 as you can see this is the center and 1 2 3 is the radius so in this way you can draw a circle as well and now in this video i showed you how to draw lines polynomial functions circles how to create lists and how to draw trigonometric functions how, how to change various parameters on x and y axis i hope that this will get you started with using graphing calculator in geogebra i hope that now you will be able to learn yourself various commands and practice and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time